Western countries have approved tranche after tranche of their weapons and equipment to Ukraine. So Russia has had to raise stakes too. Some of Russia's newest combat vehicle modifications are already here in the Donbass and they have already been tested and their worth has been proven on the battlefield quite a few times. The vehicle's tracks spew dirt on us as it storms past towards the front line to cover infantry assault teams. Its hull doesn't offer much protection, but what it lacks in armor, it makes up for in speed and firepower. designed to blitz the enemy, release the smoke bombs and disappear. The crew tells me this amphibious infantry fighting vehicle has already met its match in the Donbass. Apparently, American Bradleys from the most recent shipment are already here. Our new airborne combat vehicle, the BMD-4, is an excellent machine. Works like a dream. Of course, the caliber pleases me. It is good against large clusters of opponents and strongholds, against light vehicles, and it's also good against Bradleys. It has excellent speed and low fuel consumption. The machine has proven itself, especially on the front lines. It has a high rate of fire, the ability to shoot from close positions. We use the BMD every day, send greetings to our opponents, and do not let them relax. Moscow has been repeatedly calling on the West to stop military shipments, stop the escalation, or Russia will have to match it. The West is called to inflict military defeat on Russia. They need to pump weapons into Ukraine, including those that can hit Russian territory. President Zelensky has publicly requested such weapons. We have strongly warned the West against providing them. It is effectively waging a proxy war against Russia, using hands, bodies and minds of Ukrainian neo-Nazis. But long-range weapons would drastically escalate the conflict, and I sincerely hope that the few reasonable people in the West understand that. This IFV is only one example of Russia's newer weapons deployed to the war theatre. Brand new T-90 tanks lurk in the woodlands. Drones soar in the skies. Faster and more powerful missiles hit Ukraine's infrastructure deep behind the lines. But the power of Russia's biggest and most lethal weapons so far has only been unleashed at drill sites. Amigashdanov reporting from the Donbass, RT.